Hello and welcome back to Foundations of Bathmarks, also known as BGGM213. I'm your course director, Dr. Barry Grant. Now, in a previous screencast, we covered some of the common definitions of bathmarks and outlined several of the major application areas. Now, in this course, we're really focusing on what I'm calling the macromolecular domain of bathmarks, which spans from genomes through proteomes, their sequences, their structures, their molecular binding partners, uh, through network and, and systems-based approaches for their integration. So the reason I've drawn this slide like this is really rather than just a simple list, is to try and get across another uh, key point. That is that a major goal of bioinformatics is the integration of these different types of data to gain a deeper understanding of uh, biological mechanisms and, and processes, or as we stated uh, more succinctly in a previous screencast, to really try and bridge this gap between the ever-increasing amounts of data we have on these, on these um, macromolecular entities and new actionable knowledge. But how do we actually uh, do this? Well, many of the most well-known bioinformatics tools and databases are online and they're free to use. And we'll start off this course by actually using these online tools and resources so we're familiar and up to speed with what's available. However, we'll quickly discover that bioinformatics uh, often requires analyzing occasionally quite large and complex data sets. And it's just not feasible or tractable or time efficient to do this type of analysis online, even if there were resources available to do it. So rather the recommended approach for this more advanced analysis, particularly of larger data sets, is to work with a computer that offers uh, so-called Unix integration. Now, Unix is an operating system that is particularly well suited for analyzing uh, bioinformatics data files. It has many uh, features that are flexible and that can be strung together uh, to, analyze your really, to analyze your data for you. And the real strength of learning Unix, as we'll do together in this course, is that most of these uh, commands, these Unix commands or features, can be uh, combined in an almost unlimited fashion. That means if we learn, for example, five key Unix commands, we can do way, way more than just five uh, things. So our objective here in this course will be to learn a subset of Unix to become productive uh, for uh, bioinformatics analysis in the Unix environment without learning every advanced uh, feature or program that uh, the Unix operating system offers. We'll also introduce uh, some programming features and concepts. Um, we've chosen the R language for data analysis and graphics to teach in this course. Now, R is an extremely powerful and popular tool for exploring and understanding data in an open-ended, interactive fashion. Learning R uh, and the bioinformatics tools that are well integrated into R uh, will give us the freedom to experiment and problem solve and explore uh, your data during its analysis uh, steps. This is exactly what we need as, as bioinformaticians. So this last point here is, is to state that even with you know, our uh, Unix environment set up, our uh, our analysis and programming language features up to speed will still occasionally hit a, a bottleneck that will not allow us to analyze the, the, the data that we have available uh, to analyze at the scale that we want to analyze it. And this might be simply due to computing resources. We've hit a bottleneck of the available computing in your lab or here in the desk in front of you in class. And to overcome this and to learn how to overcome this in this class, we'll turn to High performance computing resources. We'll log into various Unix based servers around campus, but we'll also excitingly learn how to use cloud uh, computing uh, and supercomputing resources offered by Exceed, which is a National Science Foundation uh, funded and provisioned network of supercomputers around the United States. And this will provide us with obviously much faster processing power, also larger storage capacity, wider availability of resources to do things at scale and in parallel and give us computing resources that we just don't have access to otherwise. But before we uh, dig into using these kinds of advanced tools and resources, we're going to uh, 
learn the fundamentals of Unix and of R on our own computers, on our own laptops. And for this reason, I want you to install uh, some open source software on your own laptops that uh, you'll bring to class and you can find full, de full details of those install requirements at our lab on the class website. That's the gradlab.org slash bggn213 and please follow the link for a computing cell. What you'll find there is if you're a Mac you already have a Unix underpinning to your operating system so there's very little to do on that end. If you're on a PC or a Windows machine essentially there's a little bit more work to do. We need you to install some software and set up a couple of plugins to that software that will offer you a Unix-like environment so we can learn Unix together. You'll also, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you'll need to install the R environment for statistical computing and graphics, and also an interface to R called R Studio. We'll go through in class together to make sure that everyone's set up properly, but we really want to do this time-consuming, less interesting step outside class, so we can spend the majority of our face-to-face -face time learning and having fun and exploring uh, bioinformatics analysis approaches together. Okay, see you in class with a fully set up laptop. Remember to charge it too. Okay, thank you.